Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to see how to integrate the ESP32 CAM web server with Node-RED and Home Assistant. Today we are going to use the Arduino code to implement this. So let's get started. This is the ESP32 CAM board. Generally the boards from AI Thinker are available in the market. So this board uses ESP32 S2 and you can see the GPIO pins on the either side of the board. This is the reset key. You can press this reset key to reset the board. And this is the OV2640 camera. This is 2 megapixel camera. This is the back side of the board. You can see the SD card slot. You can insert your SD card into this slot and save the images. This is the LED which is connected to GPI4 pin of the board. And this is the connector where the camera module is fitted. These are the locks available to keep the module fit with the board. These are the pin details for the ESP32 CAM board. As ESP32 CAM board does not have the USB port to flash the code. So we need to flash the code using the UART port. So these are the pin connections for interfacing UART with the ESP32 CAM board. I have used 5V DC from the external source. In order to put the ESP32 CAM board into the programming mode, we need to connect the GPIO pin 0 of the ESP32 CAM board with the ground. When the programming is over, GPIO 0 pin should be disconnected from the ground. Now let us go to the Arduino side. If you want to install the Arduino ID latest version then you can visit this site of the Arduino. These are the set of files which you can download as per your OS. So start the Arduino ID. Let us go to the file then click here on the preference. In order to access the ESP32 boards you should place this URL over here. After doing that just click here on the OK. Just click here on the tools, then go to boards, then go to board manager, search ESP32 over here. Now you can install this library. I have already installed this library so I am not going to install it. After installation is done, click here on the close button, then go to file, then go to example click here on ESP32 click here on the camera click here on the camera web server so code for the camera web server is available over here just comment this and uncomment this line enter here your Wi-Fi credentials I have entered Wi-Fi credentials for my router. This is the code for implementing the camera web server. Now let us go to the tools. Select the board as ESP32 rover module. Select the partition as huge app and select the COM port to which the ASP32 CAM board is connected. For me it is COM3. Once it is done, just go to the sketch and click here on the upload. So that will compile your file and flash the code in the ASP32 CAM board. I have already done that so let me go to the serial terminal or serial monitor. For me the SP32 CAM board is already connected and the IP address is this. Just copy this IP address and paste it in the browser. 
so now web page for the webcam server is available over here you can start the streaming from the camera by clicking over here and start stream now you can see the streaming from the camera is available here you can see esp32 board you can stop this by clicking over here on the stop stream you can also get the still image by clicking over here on get still now this is the image available over here we will start this streaming again from here you can change the resolution you can change the quality you can change the brightness you can change the contrast you can set the various levels over here these many settings are available so we will stop the stream over here let us go to the node red if you are interested in knowing how to install the node red and use it with the task nota then you can watch this video so this is the flow for integrating the esp32 webcam server with the node red so this is the template node i have dragged it from the dashboard from here this is the dashboard panel and i have dragged this template node from here so click here on the template in the template node you can add the code like this i have used source edge http colon double slash 192.168.1.100 81 is the port on which the streaming is available and this is slash stream width is 600 and height is 400 click here on the done button in order to vary the brightness i have used this slider node so click here on the slider node I have used the range as minus 2 to 2 in steps of 1. So click here on done. I have implemented a function using the function node. So click here on the function node. You can add this code over here. And this message payload is the payload available from the brightness node click here on done this is the change node where the url is set do the settings like this and click here on done and this is the last node this is http request node which i have used keep the settings like this and click here on done for setting the contrast and the quality I have used the slider node again so click here on contrast I have set the range as minus 2 to 2 in steps of 1 once the setting is done click here on done same thing for the quality so here range is from 4 to 63 in steps of 1 so once the setting is done click here on done so link for the website where this uh, flow is available is given in the description so after doing this just click here on the deploy once the flow is deployed just go to the dashboard click here now you can see the streaming is available in the UI 
now you can set the brightness by varying the slider you can vary the contrast you can vary the quality as well So in this way you can uh, integrate the ESP32 webcam server with the node red. Other settings you can put as per the requirement. Now we will try to connect the ESP32 webcam with home assistant. I am using the portable version of home assistant which is suitable for windows. If you are interested to see how to install this home assistant and how to use it and integrate it with Transmota then you can watch this video. So just click here, click here on edit dashboard. Click here on add card. Come to the picture. Click here on picture. Paste this IP address of your ESP32 webcam server. Enter the port number and write over here stream. Now you can see the streaming from the camera is available over here. Let us save this. You can see the ESP32 board in the camera so in this video we have seen how to integrate esp32 webcam server with the node red and the home assistant so that's it for the day thanks for watching the video if you like this video then please hit the like button please share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to this channel thanks again and have a good time